Hey guys, this is what happened, but you weren't here so you missed it. I had a super busy day today. I had Sean's annual meeting for school, uh, for placement for next year. And let me tell you... Did you get the same teacher? I don't know. That's not things that you talk about during the meeting. You talk about like progress and stuff and... What you said placement? Placement in school-wise. So, it was a freaking love fest! Sean couldn't be doing better, I don't think. Other, you know, other than a cure. <laughs> but in terms of like, you know, rehabilitation, he's doing fabulous and he loves his school and he loves his teachers and therapists. So what more could you ask for, really? It was just so great to go to a good meeting because let me tell you, I've been to bad ones. I have been to ones where there have been fights. <laughs> so, you? yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, Chris, you never get the joy of going to the meetings. All right, so I went to Target after the meeting quickly, and I went to Sam's Club. I didn't buy a whole lot of quantity, but I think I got some quality stuff this week, even though Kristen might not think so. Kristen and I have been planning on going to Target this week. Yeah, let me explain. <laughs> I, um, this weekend came to the realization, stop it, <laughs> after I went through my closet to take out my spring and summer clothes. I can show Kristen that, right now. Um, yeah, I don't want to be shown. I just want to talk. That, um... <laughs> I don't really have a lot of basic tops. Stop, Mom. I don't have a lot of basic tops. I have nice other stuff, but I need to She needs basics. A bit more. So I told Mom, I really, really love scoop neck tees because... Um, They're very nice. Yes, and I don't have to layer them so it won't be excessively hot. So I'm like, could we go to Target sometime this week when I don't have to work and you don't have to work? So we're planning on going Monday. Monday or Wednesday. Alright, so we're going tomorrow. Yes, because that's the So only keep night. your pants on, kid. Okay. We're still going. But Mom went to Target and bought me a couple of shirts that are V-neck. And I just said, Mom, um, why'd you do that? Excuse you me. Money. Excuse me. One is V-neck <laughs> and one is a scoop neck. But so, the whole point was to be able to wear these t-shirts with a skirt, and they don't look good with a skirt. Those are jean and short t-shirts. Okay, guess what? You can buy more. These were not expensive. You can have some for jeans now. What freaking girl in the world wouldn't want to buy more? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Alright, go be gone now. Alright, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> So, if you hadn't gathered where I went from that, I went to Target and Sam's Club. Let's begin. Alright, so I got the Morningstar meal starters over here. They're back at uh, Target. They finally got their fresh produce and, and food sections under control, so like, it's great. They have even more products than before, so I'm very pleased. Thank you, Target. So I got some of those. I got my spicy black bean burgers, just like Tara likes. Got the, I thought of you as soon as I saw that, Tara. I got this at Sam's Club. Um, it's a London puzzle. Maddie loves puzzles, and she's been to London, so there's a thousand-piece puzzle to keep us busy. Hopefully, we won't have to do it during a blackout. Because <laughs> you know the power always goes out here, and doesn't need any batteries. All right, I got some tropical fruit and nut blend. This one looks really good. Um, you know what, though, kids? If you're on a diet, be careful. It's very calorie expensive. Um, you don't want to eat a lot of that. That's like a handful, and that's it. And that that's like a hundred and something calories. Okay, Chris. Chris is just gonna go down here and get some water. All right, so I was looking for a case for Sean's new iPad. I don't know I'm showing you that when I'm saying a case, but they didn't seem to have any good cases. I'm going to have to try and find one online because I'm trying to find one that's going to prevent a disaster in case it's dropped. So I want one that's um, pretty sturdy. So if you guys know of any cases that are goof-proof, um, let me know in the comments and I'll check them out. Um, Money is somewhat of an object. I would probably be willing to spend up to like forty, fifty dollars if it's a really good case. So let me know if you got any out there. Uh, got these at Target, two thirty-eight, marked down from eight dollars. They're those things that you screw into the lights for outside lights uh, that make them into dawn to dusk lights. And these are specifically for compact fluorescents. 
which, by the way, regular incandescent bulbs are going to be phased out, I think, in the year 2013, or is it 2014? I don't know. So make sure all your new stuff is compliant with compact fluorescent. Eggplant cutlets, because I haven't had these in a while, and I really love eggplant. But again, <laughs> if you're on a diet, don't eat the whole box, because it does have breading and oil and stuff on there, so they're not uh, low in calories. Q-tips, because that's what I clean my ears with. <laughs> I bet you do, too. All right, my hus I bought these against my husband's better judgment. He wasn't with me, but I've seen these before, and they were marked down to like 471. I, I need more omega-3, because the safflower oil that I'm taking is, I think it's omega-6, and you're supposed to balance your omega-3 and omega-6 in terms of like your blood cholesterol levels and stuff. So I needed more 3, and this one is specifically just 3. He wanted me to get this other fish oil one that... Um, in the long run was cheaper, but this one was a gummy, and I thought, well, let me do this. And I just got it. I tried it in the car, too. It was pretty delicious. I got his ciabattas. I'm replacing my hairbrush from the bathroom. This one was like four bucks. Um, when did hairbrushes get to be so expensive? Um, how often do you guys replace your hairbrushes? I mean, I, I have hairbrushes like in almost every room in the house, and combs and stuff, but the one that's in the bathroom basically gets used by everybody, so I try to replace it at least like every year or so. Because it gets all gunky. You know, the product gets in there and you try and clean it out and it doesn't really work and then it looks hideous, so got a new one. I'm trying this for the first time. Yes, it's another hair product. Um, I really like Shea Moisture brand of products. And this one is organic raw shea butter with... Uh, as a restorative conditioner. It's got sea kelp and argan oil and shea butter. It's for dry damaged hair. Um, it's a leave-in or a rinse out. It's basically marketed for like ethnic hair, for African-American hair. I, I'm pretty sure that the, this brand is um, geared towards that. But you know what? I'm not a racist. <laughs> so I'm not afraid to use it. If it works, I mean, you know, you know how they have like the specific section for people with like African American hair in the supermarket, whatever. I always look at that because I know that they have super good like conditioning stuff in there. So if you've got dry hair, you should check out that aisle because they have like a lot of really good products that will hydrate your hair. I've treated myself to a scarf, or actually I haven't decided who this is for yet, but I've had my eye on this for a while, and it was on sale today. And it's like a really gauzy fabric, and it's really super bouncy, and it's very lightweight for the, um, for the summertime, for the springtime. And the pattern is really pretty, and it was like $12 marked down from $14.99, and it's got little fringe on the end, so... Yeah, I don't know uh, if I'm going to keep this for me or maybe send that to Maddie or give it to Kristen, but it's so cute. Here's the shirts Kristen's crabbing about. <laughs> it's just a basic v-neck, like, boyfriend type shirt, that one. And then this one is like a, um, a boat neck crew, like a scoop neck. And, you know, they're a little bit longer because she's very long-waisted because she's a tall girl. Eight dollars. One was eight dollars. One was ten dollars. I mean, come on. Why are you complaining, Kristen? We're gonna get more. <laughs> this is Kristen's favorite tortilla chips, by the way. She really loves these with the omega threes in there. Oh, look! It's a source of omega threes and fiber. But yeah, that see, omega three is in um, flaxseed as well, and there's little flax seeds in this um, in these tortilla chips. So. Got to make sure you get enough um, of the omega-3, otherwise your cholesterol is going to be all out of whack. Baby spinach, because we're still on our delicious healthy kick. I uh, picked up a few items for Maddie's uh, Easter box that I'll be sending out. I think this is just so cute. I hope she uh, that puts a little smile on her face. And of course she loves Paul Frank. Kristen's chicken breast, some salad, some raw broccoli. This I've had my eye on for a while. It's a little canister from Target. But I can't believe this was originally $12.99.
They had this when they had the whole bread box thing and the funky colors and everything. I've been waiting so long for this to go on sale. It was finally 75% off. I got this for $3.88, marked down from $13. So I got this mostly to keep, um, you know, wooden spoons and utensils in for when I'm cooking so that they're like readily available and they don't take up like a, a S ton in the uh, drawer with the utensils because I have three drawers for utensils and they're all full. All right, guys. Freak out time. Here's Homer, and here is Irish Princess's cat. Weird. It's Homer's freaking double, and can you see what that cat has outside? It has a freaking snake. <laughs> okay, I'm about to throw up. <sighs> Unbelievable. Is this like worst day? <laughs> well, at least it's being useful and um, taking care of the snake population. Thanks, Irish Princess Cat. At least you're useful. Oh, God, that is so disgusting. Well, at least it's only a baby snake. But you know what? I just found a snake in the backyard this week. So I hope they're not like, oh my god! <laughs> I hope they're not like, um, going to be a lot of them this year. Flash, what are you eating over here? You hear that rustling? Flash is like digging in something over here, but dang, that cat's going after that snake. Take it back to your house, please. <laughs> we don't like the snakes here. And don't bring me any, because I don't like them. Oh, man. Cat versus snake. And I don't know what... Oh, that's a um, piece of dirt on the, <laughs> on the window there that you see. Where is it now? There it is. That's nothing. It's just really close. Hey, cat, take that home with you. Take it away. Don't like it. Good, go, go back that way now. <laughs> Take it away. Alright, I've seen enough. Or have I? Ugh! If Kristen were here right now, she'd be freaking out, but she's in the shower. I can't wait to show this to her. Ugh. It's Yama! <laughs> I've never seen a cat, um go after a snake before, so this cat's got balls, I'm telling you. It's a ballsy. Okay, Homer lookalike. Uh, now I've seen enough. Or have I? Enough? One more pounce. Flip it. <laughs> Let's play flip the snake. Oh! All right. All right, so as you could tell from that last clip, <laughs> Irish Princess is really Irish because she's even got her cat driving the snakes out. <sighs> yes, no extra charge for that joke. So I'm feeling a little bit lazy tonight. I was actually going to make spinach manicotte, but I don't feel like it now. <laughs> so I'm just going to make some pasta. So we've got some beautiful celentanis and some vodka sauce and some fresh baby spinach that I'm going to saute along with some of the uh, organic grape tomatoes which looks really good throw in some feta, some parmesan of course cucumber on the side because we don't want to be retaining water now do we? and secret ingredient which isn't so secret because I told you what it was last time is some pepperoncini tomatoes tomato peppers <laughs> pepperoncini peppers uh, they add a lot of flavor without really adding that much heat so everybody can be happy about that because Mark just told me that he cried at lunch today <laughs> he had curry chicken and the tears were just running down his eyes it was so hot so <sighs> I don't want to 
give them the double whammy today so I'm not gonna put that many pepperoncinis in there but just enough to give it a little kick because I want to know that I'm eating I don't want to think I'm eating bland food I just want a little kick all right so I've got the uh, little grape tomatoes and s load of garlic and the pepperoncini peppers in there sauteing for only about two to three minutes and of course my pasta is boiling over <laughs> oops and I'm going to add the uh, fresh spinach, but I'm just going to wilt it. And when that gets a little limp, I'm going to add the, um, the vodka sauce. So we're pretty much going to be ready to eat then, Elmo. Oh, boy. All right, so I got my pasta already in the bowl that I just drained. And I've got this heated up just so that the sauce is heated. You don't want to heat it up too much because you don't want the spinach to turn into a shriveled up little turd. So... <laughs> Basically what you're going to do is pour this on the top and very carefully combine it so that you don't slop it up all over the table as my mom would say to my dad all the time. You're slopping that all over the place. <laughs> Isn't that right? Alright, so after we combine that, we're going to add um, the feta and the parmesan. You never want to put the cheese in the pan because when you heat the cheese, it's gooey and nobody likes that unless it's mozzarella. So make sure you add that later on and just the heat from the dish will be enough to um, warm up the cheese and get it ready to eat room temperature. So enjoy. <laughs> it's a long day. Did I just cough all over the food? I don't know. I hope not. But everybody's sick anyway, so have a great day tonight. <laughs> Mark's dying over here because his hands are like meh. Till next time. Much love.